Welcome back to Yuzu View. Uh, I had a couple of people ask about what to do in very shady areas, so I thought I'd bring it up. Uh, this is what I've done. So this area in my yard is just 100% shade most of the time. Gets a little teeny bit of morning sun just as it rises up over the fence, uh, but otherwise it is in shade. So what I did with it is it was already mossy. I just turned it into a moss garden. So it's not finished yet. Normally I have a, um, uh, a reed fence where you can see those poles standing up. So I'll put a reed fence there to kind of block off the view of all the, the leaves. But you see animals like it. I got a robin going to town right now in there. So I found a nice little uh, bird bath that looked basically like stone, put it in the middle. And then I got some ferns and some grass. So on the right, uh, you can see that light green grass. That's a Japanese forest grass. Uh, that one happens to be variegated. There is a Japanese painted fern in the back, and there is a maidenhair fern, which is actually um, a local. They, they live around here. So just they survive the winter. They come back. I did some of these semi-zen uh, stones. Uh, I originally tried to do it correctly and have it really difficultly balanced, but the problem is it's really windy right here. So a lot of times the rocks just fall down and it's just tiring after a while to have to consistently come out over and over again and try and fix them. I don't really have as much time as I used to, uh, but if we take a closer look, so I've got, I found a friend of mine was moving and they found this in their backyard and I took it. So I've got the, uh, basically a grinder. Uh, this was to sharpen axes and things like that but now it's just kind of a nice centerpiece. And as you can see, the moss is really going nuts here. And one of the other secrets, all these moss covered rocks, uh, what I did is I just went around and found them. So whenever you find a really nice moss covered rock, uh, you just bring it home and you put it here in your little moss garden and just try to make it so it looks as natural as possible. You know, I mean, people aren't going to think, oh, wow, how does this magically happen? But it works better if you can, you know, place them in the right spot. And then I have my little statue there. See, but there's the maidenhair fern, the Japanese painted fern, Japanese variegated forest grass. And then I kind of, I got one of these. Uh, that's really cheap. It was like Amazon for 36 bucks. It's actually plastic. And if it was in full sun, it would light up overnight but it doesn't. The solar panel won't work uh, in this kind of shade. And then I took uh, this, this piece of wood here. It used to be a tabletop, uh, but it was an old rotted up table, so I just took it apart. And now I use it as an easy walkway to my pond so I can clean out the little pond in there. And then one extra flagstone, uh, well, two extra flagstones. So that way, if you make a moss garden, you do not really want to walk on the moss. I mean, a step here and there is not a big deal, but moss does not res respond well to being walked on. So if you have to walk on it once in a while, that's fine. But it, it, for something you know you're going to go to, like that pond, to try and clean up and make sure there's not bugs in it and things like that, you need to make some rocks to walk on. Otherwise, you're going to do damage. So there you go. Let me back up for you. And that's my little, how do I handle this really kind of bad section of the yard that tends to just be dead. Well, there it is. Moss. Work with what you have. All right. I'll try and show you again sometime when I uh, finish and put the uh, reed wall back up because it makes a huge difference with that reed wall up. It looks like a tiny secret little garden, uh, but I haven't purchased the reeds yet. The problem with a reed wall is it only lasts a season, maybe two, if you're lucky. They do not last and they're usually like 60 bucks. So it's not my number one happy thing to do. If I could think of something better, I, I may try and upgrade to a bamboo wall, but we'll see. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.